This is where the Volga ends and the Caspian Sea begins. It's where ancient nomads passed through on their way to Europe. This is Astrakhan Oblast. Hello and welcome to 7 Facts. Astrakhan is one of Russia's many oblasts, one of the smaller ones that's about the size of Denmark and with a population of just over a million people. This is a region of lowlands with elevations ranging between 28 meters below sea level to a maximum of 162 meters. This shouldn't come as a surprise as Astrakhan is part of the vast East European plains. So it's a place of marshes, deltas, floodplains and deserts. But does that make it a boring place? No, not by a long shot. There's plenty to see and discover here and that's exactly what we're about to do. So don't go anywhere. Since ancient times, the lands of Astrakhan attracted humans. Plenty of food, an abundance of water, mild winters, all of this welcomed ancient nomadic humans. So yes, for those ancient people, this was a gateway from the east into Europe. But of course, this was many millennia ago. In the age of our era, it was the Khazars, a Turkic nation followed by the Golden Horde who controlled Astrakhan. When the Golden Horde eventually disintegrated, the Astrakhan Khanate was formed in 1460. Their existence, however, was brief. Less than 100 years after, they were conquered by the ever so growing Russian state. They've been a part of Russia ever since. The city of Astrakhan acts as the capital of the oblast. It's the oldest trade and cultural center in this region and has been nicknamed as the southernmost outpost of Russia and the Caspian capital. Historically speaking, this is misleading because the city used to be a small village, then a large trading post, then the capital of the Astrakhan Khanate, a state of Muslim Tatars. Even the name comes from a Turco-Mongolic title, Haji Tarkan or Hashtarkan, meaning the king who visited Mecca. Nevertheless, today the city is and has been for hundreds of years a Russian city. Although even here we have to mention that, while Russians represent the absolute majority, Astrakhan is host to small populations that belong to no less than 173 nationalities and 14 religious confessions. So, this is a very diverse, dynamic and large city of Russia and as a bonus, it is a beautiful city. What more could you want? Before we go to the next fact, I'd like to ask you something. This video isn't sponsored, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. And with that said, let's go to fact number 4. Astrakhan's history doesn't just include the legendary empires of the Asian steppes. Slavic tribes also inhabited these areas. One particular group is quite important to Russian history, the Buzhans. They were a tribal union of early Slavs and it is theorized that it was this group that gave rise to Russians as an ethnic group, among others. I do have to mention that they didn't live just here and this doesn't mean that Russians come from this place. But the Buzhans are an important piece of the Slavic puzzle and Astrakhan is included in it. Natural gas is one of the most important resources of humanity and Astrakhan has quite the deposit. That in itself isn't that interesting, however the exploitation of this resource attracted the attention of the Soviet program for peaceful uses of nuclear explosions. They carried out Project Vega in the 1980s. Using 15 low-yield nuclear bombs, they blasted the earth of the Rin Desert to create reservoirs for natural gas storage. These were underground detonations, so there was no radiation contamination of the area. Given the fact that the Astrakhan fields are among the largest in Russia, the necessity for large storage facilities is understandable. But you gotta pause for a second to think about the fact that actual nuclear weapons were used to excavate them. Astrakhan Oblast borders the mighty Caspian Sea, the largest lake on this planet. Not only that, but the Volga, Europe's largest lake, flows into the Caspian Sea from here, forming one of the greatest natural wonders of Earth, the Volga Delta. 
The delta has been protected ever since the establishment of one of the first Russian protected areas, the Astrakhan Nature Reserve, set up in 1919. The delta is huge, 160 kilometers across and 27,000 square meters in area, and it goes without saying that it's a hotspot for thousands of species that live here, mate or transit the area. As a strict nature reserve, the delta is mostly closed to the general public, although tours and excursions can be arranged. What about the Caspian Sea? It, together with the Black Sea, are the largest remnants of the ancient Paratethys Sea that covered much of Europe. About 5.5 million years ago, due to tectonic uplift, the Caspian portion remained landlocked and now owes its existence solely to the rivers that feed it, mainly the Volga, which drains 20% of the European land area and is the source of 80% of the Caspian's inflow. If you fancy visiting Astrakhan, you can take boat rides from Astrakhan to inland Russia, but you should probably try going out to sea and gaze upon the remnants of a once continental-sized sea. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.